Hey everyone, Stephen Powell here. I uh, just wanted to give you this this quick word here. I, I felt the Lord was speaking to me um, about what I'm calling the gospel platform. What is the gospel platform? How should the gospel be preached? Are there parameters, are there boundaries that should dictate um, how the gospel should be presented, where the gospel should be presented, in what way? Uh, I think there are. You know, the Bible teaches that the church is a separate entity within the nations of the earth, that our citizenship, our greatest citizenship, is actually of heaven, even though we have natural citizenships in whatever nations um, that we live in as the church. But that's our greatest allegiance to that of our King, King Jesus, to that of the kingdom of heaven. And even when it comes to races, when it comes to different colors of skin and things like that, we all bleed the same red blood. And the Bible says that if you're born again, you've been born from above. So we should identify, okay, as the body of Christ with something greater, greater than what, you know, uh, racism and, and things like this try to divide us over, right? And that's why the body of Christ is such a beautiful thing. It's made up of so many different races and tongues and tribes and people. And we have that commonality, that bond in the spirit. The Bible calls it koinia, the community. It's this word in the Greek koinia, uh, community of the spirit that's created through the bond of the spirit that we carry as people who love Jesus together. Um, but the Bible says here in Revelations chapter 14, verse 6, Then I saw another angel flying in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach to those who dwell on the earth, to every nation, tribe, tongue, and people. Right? So the gospel is for every nation, every tribe, every tongue, every people. You have no right to hold back the gospel from any race. You have no right to preach the gospel to any race more than another, to any tribe, any nation more than another. It's a free gift and it belongs to everybody, whether you're a man or you're a woman, whether you're a child or you're older, no matter what socioeconomic status that you're of, that people judge you of, of the world, the gospel belongs to everybody. So you see how there is that beautiful equality that actually comes through Jesus that comes through the gospel. And that's because Jesus shed his blood and he died for all. He didn't die for one above others. He died for all. So you see how that platform, that that message would be preached from, you see how it would be unique. Okay, it would be very, very unique. It would be its own platform. Whereas what I'm seeing in the spirit, saints, is I'm seeing that when you try to combine the gospel platform with other platforms, let's say the social justice platform, okay, and culture, they can never fully combine. They can never fully integrate because the gospel platform stands alone, right? And I see it almost as like the image of that, that statue that Daniel saw in his dream where he saw the statue and he saw the feet of the statue, right, with, with clay and iron mixed. And the thing about clay and iron is they don't mix. They don't go together. And I think that's what's happening, you know, in certain instances is there's people in the church that I think are genuine and they have good intentions and they're trying to bring the gospel into culture. They're trying to bring the gospel into all the world, but they're combining it with other platforms. They're combining it with other spirits, with other ma mess messages that the pure gospel is not compatible. And if you try to mix them, it actually becomes a whole other image. It becomes a whole other gospel. And that's what we call a false gospel, right? You know, one of the, the key components I see of what I call the, the social justice false gospel is they don't teach forgiveness. They don't teach forgiveness. The forgiveness of sin is a key component to the gospel. Jesus said, if you don't forgive others who have done things against you, then the Father won't forgive you. So in other words, if you receive the grace of God for forgiveness, for atonement in your life, that grace can not only be received, but has to flow has to flow through you to others, right? So the social justice, what I call the social justice false gospel, it doesn't teach that. The, so, the social justice false gospel actually teaches people to harbor anger, to harbor resentment and envy and jealousy and hatred. It teaches people to not let go, to not forget, but to never forget, to always remember Right? What a certain race or a certain people group has done against you. What the system has done against you. And you see, that does give power. Okay, There's a lot of power 
and there's a lot of money that flows through that and there's a lot of influence and you get access to a lot of platforms you know in the earth but it's not the power of God it's not the power of the Holy Spirit it's demonic power right because if you're going to come to Jesus you have to forgive others and when you forgive you have to forget that's right and some of you you know in your own humanity you may not be able to fully forget but that's the concept though that's what pure forgiveness speaks of okay it's like the Lord saying to us in the gospel, you know, in the Bible, as far as the east is from the west, so far have I removed your sins from you. Amen? So when you come to Jesus, you have to let go of those things. You have to forgive. You have to forget. But this is what I'm seeing right now in the Spirit. And uh, there's someone cussing on my broadcast right now, so I'm trying to get that off there. One second, guys. Hmm. If you cuss, you will be banned. So, <laughs> all right, from my broadcast. Um, but anyways, what I'm what I'm seeing though is that we need to recognize this. What's happening right now in the church, and more than ever before, the world does not need a message of mixture coming from Christian leaders. It needs a pure, authentic representation, declaration of the gospel of Jesus Christ, because Jesus is the only answer. He is the only answer to racial, racial, racial reconciliation. He's the only answer to real healing that we all need in our hearts for those who have wronged us, for wrong things that have happened to us. Jesus is the answer. The gospel is the answer. Amen. So let's stay in our lane. Let's keep preaching the gospel. Let's keep calling people to Jesus. Let's keep calling people to forgiveness. And of course, let's keep praying for our nation um, at, a, at a time like this because our nation needs our prayers. Our leaders need our prayers. So God bless you. Hope this has been a blessing to you. I'm going to come right back on here and do another video here pretty quick. Bless you. Bye. Hey, my name is Stephen Powell, and I want to thank you for watching this video on my YouTube channel. Go ahead and click the button right here, and you can subscribe to our channel so you get new videos as they come available. And also, you can go ahead and watch another video right now if you click this button over here. God bless you.